really have a counterplay against that until until maybe you get your Ags up, then you can try to freeze the AM, but Counterspell again just ruins that for you. So it, it's pretty smart for them to shift that out. And it makes it a lot spicier. You know, we were talking about that first phase looking a little bit bog standard here, Mike. Definitely not a bog standard ending for RNG here. I, I love it though. I mean, it, it's it's one of those things like pause 3 AM, it's, it's weird, but we've seen it work for multiple teams before. And again, against the uh, against the Medusa, it makes sense. Hell, even against the DP in the puck, it makes a lot of sense. And it even gives you a nice way of blinking to the back lines and just canceling off Ma uh, Mortimer's kisses. If the snap fight does get a nice kisses off, you just blink, mana void, suddenly no more kisses available in the team fight. I don't mind it. I think this is a great pause 3 AM game. My only question still stands, what is Chalice going to build? And he's already got a Ring of Health queued up here on this offlane anti-mage. So maybe we see a Vanguard build up to get started. Yeah. But what happens after that is my question. Like, where, where's he going? I like the idea of Vanguard Diffusal. I still don't think your, your, your Diffusal idea could work out. Beyond that, you could go Aura. You could be the Wraith Pack builder. Blink in Wraith Pack is kind of memeish, but also really not bad up against Talent's lineup, and then just kind of maybe build your Basher from there. Ags could be pretty damn useful as well. Blink Fragments onto the Medusa could be nice. Zephyr's so gonna run forward, X Nova. Not really gonna mess around here. Realizes he can't do much. He'll just let the banner and go. He'll get two for two anyway. The bottom ones were taken by the side of RNG. So a very nice start for both sides. What lane should we start with, Jonathan? Do you want to decide which lane we're looking at? Yeah, let's take a look at uh, mid, I guess, as her camera is pointed there, and I can't really think too well. Uh, Mikado <laughs> on the puck, up against Somnus on the DK. We start with the most boring lane, Mike. Well, was You've your seen this a million job? times. Yeah, but you know, get it out of the way. It's puck versus DK. It's not very action-packed. Somnus is going to farm. Mikado is going to farm. Rune control is more important for Mikado. No one is going to die unless someone severely missteps and dives the tower. Uh, support rotations could be nice. Uh, maybe Zephyr gets a good early move out, but uh, probably not gonna come anytime soon with Tiny needing a lot of levels to get that done. Right. That's the last time I give you the uh, the choice of picking the lane, John. You chose the DK <laughs> lane of all things. Never again. Yeah, just get it out. No. Know? Get it over with. Never again, John. Bottom lane, Hyde and Kaka going at it right now. Of course, Savage is gonna be there on the position one Medusa, and they'll be against the position three AM by Chalice. John, this lane, I imagine, should also be relatively boring. Anything in particular we need to keep an eye on here in this bot lane? Not too much. You could maybe try to get aggressive and pop over and stand into Chalice Spring. You just use that early mana burn to rip through Savage. And it does melt his mana wave. Doesn't have enough to toss out the Mystic Snake. Without the Snake, a lane control for a Medusa does get pretty tough. And they are using the spells really well. Hyde just getting blasted away with a Concussive Blast. Can't really trade with a Scatter Blast because well, Skyrat Mage is pretty damn speedy does hit from a mile away so that's going to force talent to expend a lot of resources to stay in lane and if you're rng that's all you kind of want slow down the deuce as much as possible force the buyouts on mangos and tangos and just keep getting this uh nice pats of lane going for chalice to farm up on yeah i take it back john it doesn't seem like it's going to be a boring lane whatsoever because chalice wants to get so aggressive here on the am along with this skyrath and i mean why the hell not you can just burn all the manner of 23 savage and with the amount of damage kaka can just pump out on the skyrath mage you're going to be feeling very good about it. Of course, that final lane we were just having a look at was the top lane, where you saw X Nova and Anna against KP on the DP, and you're also going to have Zephyr there on the Tiny. I did think Anna was going to run the pause 1 AM against the Death Prophet, but I suppose the raise is pretty good as well. Sure you- oh, never mind, bot lane, hide. Was dropping rather low here on the snap fire, but he's still going to survive, but no, not for long. He turned around and went back to the fight. Yeah, I don't think he had too many options left. Out of regen, might as well just get reset, go back in. That does give an opening to jump onto Savage here. Yeah, it certainly does, John Savage. He'll turn on the mana shield, but that's not going to matter because he's got no mana. Callus able to clean up Savage and... My goodness, this bot lane already spicing up here from RNG. This AM pick on is so effective thus far. Meanwhile, top lane Zephyr gonna drop to Anna and X Nova. And I was just kind of mentioning against the Death Prophet, you don't mind playing Razor. He'll go for the Spirit Siphon, you go for the Static Link. It's a better trade for Anna. Yeah, he kind of went out on a Razor. KP's gonna have to try to run away, but Razor's equally speedy to keep up and keep his link up. 
So if you're not going to have a good time in just getting that. And RNG already off to a great start. So it's a tree. 1k lead their way. Just uh, running these lanes very effectively. For Talon, they're, they're going to need levels. Both Zephyr and Hyde are going to need to hit like level 4 to really be effective to get those rotations onto mid. And it does feel like for Talon, their launching point will have to be Mikado. Considering how the sidelines are going, it's all in on the puck. Maybe getting an early rotation, getting an early level 6 and 7, and trying to get some action on the map for Talon's end. But RNG, yeah, their lanes are going well. They don't really have anything to worry about yet. They just hit their level timings. Maybe you rush that blink out on Somnus and you start playing around with the dragon kills done. It's going to be easy to find these pickoffs. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Jonathan. Already 0 3 the way of RNG. Just a, a brilliant start here for the Dire team. And that mid lane going very well for Somnus as well. Very even, though, between him and Makoto was bot lane. Kofi is there, but Hyde in trouble once again as Chalice will case him down, and Hyde is going to drop. He just can't sustain through the damage pipe being pumped out by Kaka. And well, to be fair, John, Kaka already with two Null Talisman, so that Arcane Bolt damage going to hurt a lot more with all that bonus in. Or well, Hyde, he's got to stick up, but it's just not making the difference here. Nah, he's got the raindrops as well, but that will probably just melt next time he's around. And already RNG just dominating every lane every single time. Hyde. Just blink up and go running. He just came back here, John Hyde. Got to be careful not to die, but he's just copped so much damage. And this dropping from RNG was just genius, John. This AM pick, it's it's annihilating from here down, down the bot lane. Yeah, you're getting a lot out of it. There's still to drop low on Ana, though, but he has decent enough damage here. Siphon is there from KB, but the Arctic Boon was out from X Nova, so he does back his way up. While all this is happening, John Somnus has popped the Dragon Ball to get started in the mid tower, but Savage now bot lane in trouble once again as he has no mana and he's gone. <laughs> Chalice, so aggressive on the AM and they, they can't do anything about it. They have nothing to stop it. Like, your stun puts Hyde in the firing line. If he does want to stop Chalice, they're going to have to sacrifice Hyde. And there's no play from Talon. You know, they're just going to have to try to play passive. There are no stacks built up as well. Kaku goes through the reset. There's no recovery plan for Savage. He's two levels behind right now. Chalice already halfway to six. Savage just hitting level four himself. And if you don't manage to find a way to give this boost of the buildup, to give it some farming space, it's going to fall off flat on its face. Just no stacks, no nothing so far on the map. No, certainly not. Illusion. X Nova. He's an illusion room for himself and is really in no danger. He's just fine to, to walk his way back to the, the Dire Jungle. It's a real problem. Like, Chalice going to hit level 6, Savage level 4. You get that Mana Void up, John. Chalice, he's been having no problems draining the Mana of Savage, and one Mana Void is just going to blow him up completely. It's such a big problem already. The thing is, as well, the side lanes and the, the other lanes here have not gone that well for Talon either. Like, Makoto is doing great in the mid lane of the puck, but that's because it's an even trading lane against the Dragon Knight. In top lane, it really hasn't been that amazing for KP. He's doing fine, but they are not able to slow down Anna. Which means he should be able to get involved quite early here on the Razor during this game number one. And well, you've got to be a little bit afraid right now if you are a Talon fan. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a slow game, RNG. If they manage to maintain this pace up until the 10 minute mark, that's where it gets really scary for Talon. You know, they need to find a way to open up the map. I think it's about time they start to consider just playing with Mikado. Uh, about to hit level 7, doesn't really have anything yet. Only the ground boots in the null. But they need to try to make something happen with Green Coil. Thought they might have made a jump in on Savage with the Chalice, just deciding to CS instead. Man, look at the net worth for John. Top three heroes, all on the side of RNG. Just implying that every lane has gone the way of RNG, and you certainly agree with those statistics. The Somnus mid lane again to get started with that Dragon Ball. Zephyr going to try and help out the pop of the Green Coil, but they miss the toss back. Somnus, he's very happy about that. And well, Zephyr John, he was way off the mark with that toss. Yeah, I think he didn't want to risk it. He knew there was a TB coming in, so he didn't want to overstep. But doesn't manage to get the toss back. No kill opportunity. That stream coil on cooldown. And that should allow Somnus to just keep shoving in that mid. Only half duration in Dragon form, but that should get some decent ship damage. They even have Kaka rotating in here. Why the hell not? Kaka already having a great game himself in Skyrim, but he's going to back his way up. Meanwhile, Makoto now chased down. Dragon's not going to connect, and he already committed the orb. Unable to draw the way he is going to drop.
Solnus, able to secure the kill into the Minish Harkin. Well, the Dragon Pool is going to wear off, but maybe a bit more shit damage to come onto that mid tier one tower in the meantime. Speaking of meantime, John, in the meantime, high down the bot lane, in trouble once again as the Sapphire is going to drop the Chalice. That's the third duel for Chalice during this position 3 AM. Meanwhile, top lane, Anna, he's going to be tossed back by Zephyr, but an immediate TP out. Can they stop him? Not quite. Quick thinking from Anna, knowing there was no way to cancel. Oh boy. Oda 7 now, the way of RNG. Yeah, it's a really strong showing out from RNG. Just playing every single lane grid, understanding what they want to do with this draft. They've hit their early momentum. We talked about that 10 minute timing. Count's still not finding much. So they've got to try to get Savage going. He is farming up in the triangle, fairly secure. Has some stacks built up now. And at least Town will find that top tier 1. Uh, RNG already shoving in bot, but not the quickest push coming out from Chalice. It's going to take a while to equalize the map. They are kind of set to start playing aggressive. Smoke out from RNG already. They want Savage again, John. They are not leaving this man alone. They've done their homework. They know Savage. He'll just disappear off the map for the next 20 minutes to just farm. But now Savage doesn't realize he's getting ganked up and he's gone. Even Anna cutting him off in the mid lane, forcing him back into the triangle. It's the perfect setup by RNG. And now that mid tier one tower is gone, in the meantime, at least they find Chalice down the bot lane, but John, considering that you're getting the mid tier one tower, you've got to be so happy as RNG, because now they have full access to the Radiant Jungle. That's going to make life even more challenging for this Medusa. And just look at the rewards, they have really good vision down on bot jungle, they have a forward board in the triangle, you just know every single spot where this Medusa will want to farm up. Savage is set up for a very tough game, he's queuing up a Midas, he knows how far behind he is, he needs the AXP, he needs some sort of stable gold, and that just cuts off his aggression. You're not going for the usual faster Manta, Dragonlance build up, it's gonna be a lot longer in balance, just keeping track of it. Oh, I don't know what Chalice is doing, look at this. I mean, Savage, all his mana's gone. You've got mana void up if you want to pop it. Hide, he's in the cookie, but I think Savage is dead. He's gone! Chalice! Going for more now is Hide! He's gonna try to run, but there's no juice away from Chalice, I think, as Somnus. He'll take the kill with the Breathe Fire. I know, I know I've said, said it multiple times, times this game, but this last hit AM, this position 3 AM, just so smart from RNG. It has made life impossible for talent. Makoto now, out of mana, is going to back towards the base, but it just feels like everyone's out of mana constantly on talent. Yeah, they just have no play. Once Chalice shows up with the Vanguard, you have no magical burst, you have no physical burst, you have no way of pinning them down. They catch Zephyr out here down as well. Yeah, they do. Zephyr, he's going to try to fly back, but there's nothing he can do. Already, they are just smothering down here. Punishing the greed of the draft. Zephyr is just going to drop the Sonders once again. And now that bottom T1 tower is not going to be long for this world. 1 to 12, 6k advantage to RNG. John, I'm going to ask, how did Talon come back into this game? Because so far, it's just been a very one-sided affair. Top the back, Mikado. If he somehow manages to make plays, if he manages to get pickoffs with the coil toss back, they can kind of try to stall out from there, but it doesn't feel like they're going to be able to go with the chalice. He's right. He is no fear in the world to say him. Thinking he right in the radiant triangle, knowing that he can't die. If you want to the green coil, you can, but... He's gonna bang up, he's not the easiest target to get, and it's very frustrating to have to try and deal with this anti-mage Zephyr. Not seeing Sonnus yet, we'll find out the hard way if Sonnus was there with the Invis, and he is gonna drop. It's gonna be a long time to see how he has a big dagger up with his tiny, the way this is going on. Four and a half seconds in the game, so no way near it is now high. It's gonna be paced down, like Kalasan Anna, and he's gonna drop. No way out. One to four, four games, they, they go, go for four now, now. make it 15. Savage, he's, he's gonna try to run his way back and forth to the mouth of the game until he comes up with the shield on. And then he gets it for Talos. He's, he's back, back in. in. The mana boy is not proving to be enough as he was pretty, pretty much full mana for the time he did pop it. But... And with, with that RNG, one to four, four seven K advantage, advantage and, and not, not slowing down, down whatsoever. whatsoever. This is exactly what they need to do. They know how Talon plays, they like to play a little bit of a slower game, especially when they pick up that Medusa. 
Uh, Savage, Savage at least, at least has, has the Midas, Midas but it hits, it's, it's a long, long road left, left yet, yet for him to catch, catch up. up. And, and as long as RNG keeps, keeps that vision game up, up, keeps playing forward here, here. They, don't they don't have massive cooldowns to wait for, for him. It's, it's really just, just dragon, dragon tail, tail stun plus anything, anything else. else. You, don't you don't even need the Mystic Claire on top. You've got enough damage on hand. hand. Just, just play it where you want. They will go for a smoke play out on RNG once more. If they find Savage again, I just kind of tough to come back. R&D, going, going for a bit, bit more now, is hiding and trying to keep me up, and they've got no way to cancel. At least you get the snap bar out of there. there. But when one to 16 now, now, and again, they, they just have no space, space on the map. map. No, no. They're just, just everywhere, everywhere all, all the ones here. here. AB, AB, RNG, RNG sent, they might find Ana. Ana. Be a great, great target. target. If they can find Ana, he's gonna go for a run. It's gonna, 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 gonna be a nice curse out. The Avalanche will still be around Ana. Still trying to get away. He's dropping himself, but he has to kill for his team. And he'll barely make it out with the life attack. Alan, they need a few more of those, John. If that mid lane, they've got Alan locked down. Salon's there. The AM dropping rather low, but Blinky is gonna be up just in the nick of time. Chalice, he, he will survive another day. Yeah, I, mean, I, guess I guess we are reaching, reaching at reality, reality of maybe a certain scoreline coming out, Mike. Mike. Uh, Talon will have, have to stop at three, three. Uh, but I don't, I don't think that's going to be too tough, tough for RNG to keep down. down. And RNG, RNG should easily, easily find, find that additional six, six kills will need for the match. match number. We'll, we'll see. Talon has two kills, pretty important kills to find. Killing Ana, Ana kind of helps give them some, some space up top. I think, I think considering, considering the years they've been sacrificing recently on Talon, Talon as, as long, long as it's a Zephyr and Hyde that, that are dying, dying you have some room to recover. It's not, not wide, wide room, room, mind you. you. Well, he's he's going to be there, there Hyde, they hope he'll get away. away. They leave him right, right to Savage, savage though. though. Chalice, Chalice again, again, just with this Vanguard up, has no fear. It's a tank AM for now. Back to the base, Talon goes. Top lane, more TTs, TTs coming in, in. Zephyr. Maybe they get caught, but instead they want to try and chase down KP. In fact, they, they might just find both of them. Both of them have, have been scouted out here as KP. Is this going to be a run way out? Zephyr? I just make this all of them. No curse there. Echo Nova, not playing around. We'll take down Zephyr once again. And it's well worth the curse. You're putting so much delay on this blink that guy can find Zephyr. And it's, and it's so, so important, important to hear you to have that, that up because you, you are relying, relying on the green, green coil in the blink blink toss away. away. But it's, it's just, it's never going to be there, there in this rate. Yeah, yeah. Just, just not coming out. out. And I think I for town, town, even, even though, though that's stalling out, out the tiny blink timing, 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 you don't, you don't even, even need Chalice anymore. anymore. No. They, they, they have, have no protection. protection. You only you have Midas to do, so you, you don't, don't really have stats. stats. Just, just a, a bit of a bit system duck right, right now. And again, again it, it needs, needs so, much so much more time to catch up. 8k lead for RNG. RNG. Almost, Almost feels unplayable for Town. Almost about to end right now. It's just slip push as best as he can. Work on his blink. And try to solve the game. Uh, as, as much, much as possible. possible. Which, again, again RNG is not, not allowing, allowing them to do too much. Now, as, as long, long as you prevent them from going into the tier 2s, they're well, fairly happy. Yeah, it's no still keeping, keeping track, track AP here. here. Look at this! Exodus! Who uses the Indian Disney Indian Habit with AP? It's so fast-paced from RNG. Just so damn fast-paced. The worst part is they're still all pop up with it. But they've, they've been moving around, around the map constantly, constantly. They're, they're not sitting, sitting in the lane and hitting creeps, but, but they're, they're still finding their worth somehow. 9k advantage off the back, back of RNG. RNG. Of Talon, again, again, they, they are, are still on their side, side of the map, map but their side, side of the map has become incredibly small at this point. point. There's just, just nowhere, nowhere to farm. farm. Look at RNG, RNG they're, they're just, just holding the Radiant Jungle hostage right now. Callus. He's a pos 3 AM, but he may as well be a pos 1 AM. He's just farming Radiant Jungle. Getting him he wants. wants. Then go on to the man, man next. next. Give me more, 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 more jump, 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 jump,
You talk, you talk about, about that particular, particular scoreline, score John, we are very, very close, close to that scoreline, but I'm starting to think we might need the reverse 3-2 at this stage. stage. Yeah, yeah it could come, come out in town, town have not been, been rested at all in a very, very long time, time. I, don't I don't think they're going to find an opening, opening considering, considering how durable R&T is, and how, how shrunk the map is, is so... Ah, I guess, try to shoot for 12 more kills in R&T's end. I mean, two kills could be nice, but Talon getting that one kill, looking at... Looking like, like a 0% chance at right now. 96% chance for RNG to win this one. Yes, smooth going for RNG. Tell me, well, maybe have to just adjust for the next game. It's not over. It's still trying to stall, but I don't see the angle. Unless it stalls out for like 40 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. For Savage, it's a lot of farm. Auto hits his level spikes. Hawk Hawk with, with Link, Link Hawk Green is going to feel good, but that's a lot of golden time in here. It's a hell of a lot of golden time, time, John. He's, uh, he's, he's nowhere near the stage where he can really fight here in this Dusa. Dusa. Yeah, 10k, 10K advantage to RNG. Yeah, they yeah, just, just control, control the whole map. map. Makoto, he's, he's going to be in the mid lane lane. So the AA seal is going to be out in the mid-mistic lane. Makoto is surviving out. Now that the first out. Hold the hook down. Onto the savage fake. They want the Dusa. He's already out of the ladder. He's just gone. Oh boy, it's not even close. On the high, that'll be another. Maybe. 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 If you talent on, I realize you already said that they probably start thinking about the next game, but at this point they might start thinking about DG calls because this is not even close. Is there one? Am I lost? They may find solutions. The one that goes all the way away from tiny. Problem is, it's not the tiny that needs the gold right now. Yeah, it's not not here. You want to hand that gold to you, and you also lose the magic score line as well. It's late. Yeah, just kept running down on that safe lane, not getting high, and the force savage can't even play. Wait, wait, wait. Tier 2 tower falls, falls mid, 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 and he just, just, just has the angle, angle, angle to the higher high ground. Auto going forward, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, no one's no back, back and mop, mop just trying to stall the inevitable. For Talon... I don't know. There's no new developer. It's the same story. We need to try to stall out as much as possible. A little bit more play with the double they have, but they're going to need EKKs on a lot of these cores. You're going to want some 4-staff to save from the misplayers. You're going to need Savage to farm like a madman, and not a fat fat is looking pretty. They're all 
still, still really, really behind. behind. Still, still a 14k, 14K lead, lead for RNG. RNG. At, at the least, least port 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 wise, it's a 4k, 4K lead for every, every, every core. core. So that, so that it, it's, it's one, one item on every core. core. It's, it's not like it's all piled on. on. And that, that can, can give, give a little bit more talent. Uh, it's, it's, it's a stretch there, Mike. It's tough. It's a real stretch. And even, even with, with three, three heroes, heroes Marin G moving, moving up towards, towards the top, top lane, lane. Well, they, don't, they don't say they really, really move too far out of their base, base but they do at least make their way back, back into the radiant, radiant jungle, jungle. That is going to be a bit, bit, bit time, time for Savage. Savage. He's, he's just so, so far, far behind right, right now. now. Even with the minus half, half, he's still what, what, 4K behind Anna. He's just had no space. Literally none. Yep, yep. Map, map, just, just empty. empty. Link, link. Tell them, tell them we, have we have much, much control, control to insert, insert all, all on map 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 Oh, oh my goodness, goodness to CPL! Nothing, Nothing else is necessary! Yeah, yeah. He's just extra gerbil. Max out, Dam, 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 Avalanche will hold for that the of the 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 uh, defense uh, defense for town is, is pretty, pretty dicey, dicey being quotes, 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 nice with, with stone gaze, gaze, but, but they, don't they don't have follow for any of that. that. Man, Man style is kind of ready to go on Savage, on savage but, but looks like, looks he, like might he might actually opt for the, the silver, silver edge, edge first to have something, something to play with. with. That, that, I don't know if Man has been up anyway. Let's see. Map map is completely shrunk. No towers towers left town. They're trying to find farm farm outside or high ground while they can keep clearing out the ancients on the dark side. It's five, five to three. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be, be just, just uh, talent talent trying to, try to exploit, exploit small, small mistakes, mistakes any any show itself, 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 because because RNG just, just plays play the perfect game. game. They really they have, have chalice now. They have this hold up. They might be even more challenging to savage. Here we go again. KP making it spotted by over and over and back. Tom is there. They're scouting out the KP. KP is gonna be fine to back off. He's going to go to the side. He's going to go Getting, getting some build up, up. Hadu has, has at least one defensive, one defensive item to break, to break off and change steel with the Yules. Uh, uh, the Blink Dragon Dragon Dragon's still going to be an issue. issue. It does allow, does allow a little, little bit more play on that, on that hawk. hawk. And, and Savage Savage Genji is holding on to the goal, trying, trying to make a decision between Scott, Manta, Manta, and his Silver Edge. edge. See what he opts for. for. But yeah, 7 7 k lead for RNG, 5 5 3 one they have, they have everything. AC is going, going to be up on now. now. Going to up, 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 Savage. Savage and... and... It's a very, very, very tough time, time, John. John. Very, very, very tough times. Time. Still, they, have, they haven't my grand yet, yet on RNG, so there's that, that pause. You know, you know, it's... it's... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the right side. John, John. KP, John. It's not very bright, right, though. Kodo. 
Into the tree line, he goes past their park. Park in the jump, jump, big apple, big apple, last final fight. Can't make it. They get something in trouble. They are, they are too sophisticated. Ask for five, 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 and gets it. But he's gone. He's certainly gone. They'll have a little bit of fun before he dies. High ground, perhaps, is coming. coming. Here, Maybe they see some, some side line at the end of the, the, end of the tunnel, tunnel with their draft. draft. I personally don't. don't. It's the it's mid, the mid three, 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 go. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Jordan, 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 right? right? Like, anything, anything can happen, happen although, although, although... The problem, the problem is that these are very, very low. low. Mid rad rad can fall with no defense, then the Eden McConnell around around to play. play. So just gonna try and try and farm it again. It looks like we're just gonna get Meg now. Against Megas, we at least have a do but if I buy back... They will get taken down for the game by RPG. But I hate the end of the end of the game, but it was not Evo close. Is it a problem? Yeah, yeah. Felt like, felt like a lot, like of, a lot it of it could have been boiling down to draft, draft and they had, they had some options, options to fix that, right? Like, they could have gone, gone, gone for an early lane swap, swap on, on, on Talon Sen, tried to have Savage, Savage play against play Razor, Razor, and maybe, maybe have that, have that play, play against AM, and that could have been a little bit more manageable. Savage might have been able to get a little bit more.